Okay, 1925, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score. Ooh, what the heck? 5,000 games in rapid. Only 100 in blitz to be fair, but only 1,300. You don't normally get big rating gaps like that. You normally should be relatively consistent. Okay, we're playing a traditional retty. This you normally do, this and this, but I'll do out the bishop as well just to look out for this move. Yeah, your rating, you don't normally get big gaps from one time control, bullet blitz and rapid like that. So it looks a little bit odd. So we're probably going to do this. Do I want to do that? Um, I can go really, really slow and just up one and one. I think I'm going to go up more like this. Just Obviously, we'll probably get a pin at some point. We'll develop the knight, shift the queen. Just a slow, steady game like most of them. Okay, let's go e3. So if bishop down, I'll just move the queen and then play a knight across. So he might be looking to try and open things up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to still play a knight here, so one guards the other one instead of going to c3. Not sure where the queen's going to go yet. I'll go forward here, preparing potentially to trade the bishops. Oops, my markings are not so good. This concept is my bishop's stuck here, not doing much right now. It could be very useful later in the game if we open things up, but not doing much right now. So he plays forward, offering a trade. Knight back, trade, trade. That feels good. We get the knight up. We can maybe come across and prepare to push then. Actually, that feels like it would be good for me. So I'm going to go along that route. Let's trade the bishop as well. It's a problem not having your light squared bishop when you're feeing kettled like this. But it's not quite so bad when your opponent has got rid of theirs as well. So let's play rook across and prepare the concept of trying to push forward at some point. We're maybe going slightly quick here now. This feels like it should be okay for me because I've got the two pawns here. It doesn't mean it is, but it feels like it is. I'll get the queen out of the way, encourage f5, centralize the other rook. That's got to be good for me. Yeah, it's very committal for black. So I'm going to get the queen out of the way. Okay, I'm on the far with a rook now, but I'm looking at coming up at some point, centralizing. Now, he could blow me off the board, of course. Some sort of push might actually work might do so i'm looking whether it's worth doing this right now but here i can't take back so how do we do it here you just encourage this yeah i probably should have gone here shouldn't i um how do we actually do this i could go back and still bishop here and saying well my bishop's not really doing a lot but i'm still on this file if he pushes i can go here though here or here, they're the two candidate moves I'm looking at. I'm going to go here, just if he pushes I can take and hit the pawn. But you can imagine that being really strong. Okay, well now I've got the option to go here and prepare to push. You can't really do this. Hmm. I'm going to do that, I'm going to hit the rook. He might drop the bishop back, he might do it. Well, he has pushed forward, so can I go up now then? Once you've done it, there's no undoing it. He's playing really, really quick as well, isn't he? Crazy fast. So up, take, 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 rook, take. We simply try and double up. I say it's really committal because there's no one doing it, but I want to do it, I think. But here, can he ignore me and just go here? Say we do this and this at some point, but you've got a pawn here. You can then try this. Takes, takes. I'm still okay for now. I'm going to do it. At some point you've got to try and break the tension and press forward, so I'm going to risk it. Hold on, it's rapid. I shouldn't really pre-move, but it looks like a safe pre-move. But you only have a one move away from disaster in any chess game. You play a bit too quick, you miss one thing, but... Surely I take, we get a tempo hitting the pawn. We're just going to try and double or triple. Okay, if I'm missing something, I'm missing it. I don't see it. But now... It's a little bit more difficult here, but you can imagine if the queen gets up, I can't take this way. It can just really blow everything wide open. Now, I can double here. Rook across is then not a move. You could go here, but it feels very natural to double the rooks. Bishop down, cutting the rook off, I can simply take. The queen needs to guard the pawn as well, so queen up might be a move. Just queen across to simply triple stack could be a move. 
Okay, so he's cut off this one. So do I go here? That's very committal. Because there's always this concept coming. Hmm. I've got bishop down as well to try and trade them bishops off. But I've got rook up here. Not see what I'm achieving doing that though. The bishop down, trade, trade. Maybe white starts getting active there, but we do get a strong center. Yeah, I think my bishop's not doing a lot, so I'm going to try and trade it. And then it opens black's king a bit, because the king's got no real pawns around it. But equally, it could backfire, of course. Any move you make could backfire. But he's just come forward. What? So, has he allowed rook down there? The queen probably has to go here. Check. Two rooks for queen. So here I think you have to go here. Take, 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 take. We simply double up, but I don't see what else I'm getting. I'm wondering whether I just push the pawn then. He's maybe looking at this, but... Here, trade, trade, rook across... Hmm. I'm going to go here first and drive the queen back. I think it's your only move. Then do I play a move like bishop up? I'm two minutes down on the clock though. He has gone crazy fast. Yeah, he's found that move as well. So trade, rook takes, check, king up, pin. It feels like we're making progress, but I can't afford to burn all my clock. So I'm looking at check and then across. If you go here, for instance. Trade, trade, queen over. I don't like the look of that. I'm going to throw the check in. Then across one or the other. So let's go here and pin that rook. And then I'm going to try and push a pawn, I think. I don't see an actual plan to break through, but he can't play forward. He gets the queen pinned. So he can't easily guard one rook with another one. So he's a bit bogged down. If you break the pin with the king this way, I think I can push a pawn and threaten a check. So he's just a little bit bogged down. We might be able to play a move like rook across and up. Oh, what the heck? Can he get away with that? That feels wrong, doesn't it? doesn't mean it is, but it feels it. But that really does make me think of just chucking a pawn now. Mm. But again, once I do this, this is more of a concept again, but I'm going to do it. I'm more than two minutes down on the clock. I've got to try something at some point. Even just sack the pawn, push. You can just ignore it, but it feels like it's opening the king's defences up. It might not be. Okay, so he's gone back. So do I have to do this and this? If I've got to just say I've got no breakthrough. Hmm. Here, if you ignore it again, I can throw a check in. Yeah, what do you do? How do you deal with that, actually? You can't easily ignore it, because I think I've got the rooks coming in, and the king can't escape. And you can't easily block either. So if he pushes a pawn, it might actually lose on the spot. If he takes, which he's done, so he's seen it, does not lose as well. Yeah, he figured that out really quickly, actually, didn't he? So check. Here, there's no breakthrough. How did he figure that out so fast? Hmm. Check, he goes here. And I've got actually nothing, have I? I need to distract him, so I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to leave the king there for now and see how he tries to deal with it. I'm going to try and push here. Try not to disconnect these. I'll maybe I've allowed this, but I could um, check and shift the rook, I guess. It's crazy how fast he's played the game. and Yeah, he's run the king over. So he's seeing everything. Okay, let's push on. Okay, let's take... It's probably a losing position for me. This giving up that pawn, I don't see any easy way to get my queen in. Too many moves, it feels like. Here, I'm going to have to trade. Actually, no, here right now it's a good trade because the queen's in front of his rook, so he hasn't got rook over right now. 
but there's no obvious way to get to the king. One, two, three, four moves are needed. Hmm. Yeah, four moves are needed. That's a lot of moves. So he's played queen back, so what about rook up now? Um, no, because he's offering a queen trade, which I don't want. So I'm going to go for it now. I'm going to shift the queen across with a view to coming round the back potentially. And equally, I don't want his queen getting in here. Here now I can take. So I need three moves to get round. Ooh, so he's cut that off as well. He's literally, literally seeing absolutely everything. Can I go here and here? Something like that then. Or do I do this rook? Hmm. How the heck's he done all this? I'm going to go forward because I don't feel like coming back is doing anything for me. I'm trying to target this pawn. I don't think I'm going to get it, but that's what I'm aiming for. But you can imagine black in a few moves time can do this and reverse the situation and it's two minutes up on the clock so there's not much i can do yeah i think it's king's safe i think i'm just struggling this game now okay i'm just going to triple stack these so he doesn't have rook across but i don't see any way to break through here he just goes here Oh, I've blundered my pawn actually. I forgot about that. Simply, simple oversight, just forgot about my pawn. I've unguarded it. He can simply take it. Yeah, this is a loss now, or it should be a loss now. So I might have to try some crazy sack here. Yeah, he's seeing absolutely everything. Here, here. Again, I'm sacking this pawn because he can't take with this one. So I'm just going for broke now because I'm just lost now, hopelessly lost. Hmm. Hopelessly lost. So here he just does this. And what about back in here? I just do not see it. I'm going to go here for now and try and tie his defences down. It doesn't work for me though, does it? Because there's no obvious retreat. I'm going to try this. Oh, he's gone that way. What? How can he get away with that? Here takes check. Here check. No, I just take, don't I? I just check here and collect the rook. He's blundered it. He can't attack my rook. Actually, he can. He can go there. He hasn't blundered it. Oh, what the heck. He has to go there, doesn't he? He can't come here. So he attacks my rook. So check here. Check across and it's mate. Yes, yeah, so he, he has actually blundered it. Now, do I want to check first and be mean? Drive the king back out. So if he comes to this side, he's getting checkmated. So he has to come back. So I think we actually check and then we go back. Just so the king's not tucked away too safe. So he's blundered the game. Or he should have blundered the game, barring, you know, me blundering it back. Oops, my course just stuck to the cup. He played a terrific, terrific game. Two minutes up on the clock and then just one simple mistake. So I've just got to avoid things like this now. But I'm threatening a check here and the king can't easily run away. But he needs something like this and get a repetition. So that's probably his best bet now. But I'm threatening a check to stop the king running somewhere. Then activate the rook as well. And it feels like there must be a checkmate somewhere. Okay, that move I don't quite see what that does. So I'm going to throw the check in. Okay, so where's the checkmate? Is that it? I think it is. Where's the checkmate? Oh, he goes back here. So here, here. See, I don't want to allow that. So let's go here. Oh, what am I doing? I had this, didn't I? It's not a repetition, is it? Check, back, check. Yeah, just check and take the queen. Or checkmate even. Checkmate, yeah. 
Checkmate, I just saw that I was going to go for the Queen there. So eventually we got there, but really it's one of them games, really I should have lost that one, it feels like. Let's put it through the analyzer. But yeah, even at the end there with a the mating one, I didn't actually see it until the end. So the angel will probably just, well, clearly in the very final few moves were fine, but I expect black would have been better earlier in the game there. That's what it felt like anyway, playing the game. But let's just see. Oh, we're completely level here. Oh, we're actually better. Oh, we weren't worse then. So black was never actually better through the whole game. I've played 96% accuracy versus 86. And just 12 centre pawn lost. My average is 32. So I've played it a really, really good game. One inaccuracy and one mistake. So I've actually played a really, really terrific game there. It felt like I was struggling. I was struggling to find a way through. But actually, yeah, my king was perfectly safe. So queen to b2, the engine is saying was in inaccuracy, and I should have played the rook up here instead of going for that pin concept, which I was trying to aim for. So only plus 1.2 to plus 0 0.5. Then I've made a mistake with h5, sacking the pawn, when I should have just dropped the rook back over and just played basically a slower, longer game is what the engine is saying there. So that's a mistake, but I'm still level. So I've just gone from plus 1.4 to level. And then in the end, my opponent's just made a couple of blunders here. So you can see them. Hold on, didn't it say there's two? It says two blunders, but I see three reds there. So it's not right. Let's refresh the screen. Yeah, something wasn't quite right there. There are the two blunders there. So it was a blunder taking the pawn. So we're completely level. That gives me now a winning advantage. Rook across was the correct move that I found. And yeah, just rook across there to block. That was what I was looking at. My opponent didn't see it. Came forward, which then blundered and allowed me to win. It's actually saying, like I say, a forced mate. I just didn't see the forced mate. But engine is saying there. Uh, should have played rook here. And then I just play a slow, steady queen. What? Oh, there must be a forced mate. I sacked the rook. And there's a forced checkmate coming somewhere there. Oh, that's really slow, steady concept, isn't it? But you drop your rook around the back with a king nowhere to escape. But if you don't see it, you're not going to just give your free rook away like that. But actually, in the end, we've played a really, really good game, even if some of it was a little bit fortunate. But very good.